Hello, so this is me. I flew to Sri Lanka to experience life at a secluded celebrity weight loss retreat for five days. I was curious to see how much weight I could actually lose in that amount of time. The retreat itself was magical, but I had no idea what I was getting myself in for. Extreme hunger, isolation, and worst of all, purgation day. However, when I found out how much I'd lost in five days, my mind was blown. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. But let's rewind to the day that it all started when my car got stolen. Hi guys, hello from me and my happy face. My car got stolen in the middle of the night. I can't believe it got stolen. But yeah, I'm going to Sri Lanka on a celebrity weight loss retreat. Ooh. Had to miss my flight this morning because my car got stolen, so I had to deal with that, but I've rebooked it for 8 p.m. tonight. I think I do need to be in Sri Lanka. I think I'm ready for this video, to be fair. I feel like I need to get away, just run away, basically. So that's what I did. I ran away all the way to Heathrow Airport and then another 15 hours to Sri Lanka. All I knew is that when I landed at the airport, there would be a driver waiting to take me to the weight loss retreat, which was five hours away in the middle of nowhere at the top of a mountain. The staff told me that really high profile celebrities go here to lose weight, especially actors and actresses that are preparing for specific roles in a movie. They wouldn't say who though, and I don't know if that's because of NDAs or what, but I think one of them was Angelina Jolie. I'm not 100% sure, but I said her name and their reactions were a little bit suspicious. Well, goddamn, I was not prepared for that heat. Guys, I'm over my car now. I'm happy. I just, I'm glad to be here. Egg mode activated because I had to put my hair up because I was sweating on my neck. Just giving that sway neck. I really don't know what I'm about to get myself into. Like, are they going to have me drinking just juice the whole day? Am I going to be exercising? I'm getting in the last bit of food before I'm starved. I slept for like five hours of the car journey and I slept good. Like, look at my hair. Oh my God, how embarrassing. Like, I turned up looking like that. I look like I got dragged up the mountain. They have these little buggies that take you around the retreat just for convenience reasons. They're fun. Very bumpy fun. I got taken to look at the main lounge area first and the views from this place were insane. I spent so long here. I filmed so many TikToks and reels here as well. Yeah. These are the garden view chalets and this is where I'm going to be staying. Oh wow, nice. This is the bathroom as well. It's outdoors and apparently there's monkeys that come and like swing around. <laughs> I don't know if I should be scared or not. I've always wanted to hug a monkey though so I think I'm kind of excited about it. Um, but yeah, I'll be showering outdoors. Lovely. I was seeing the doctor the next morning about my weight loss program, but as for that evening, I was booked in for a lovely little spa treatment, a head, neck and shoulder massage. You know what I realised from this? I don't like head massages for some reason. It doesn't feel nice. It's just a bit of an uncomfortable sensation for some reason. It feels like someone's taken grit and they're rubbing it into my head. The neck and shoulder massage, exquisite. Head massage, no, not for me. The masseuse was amazing. I just, I think I'm the problem. Good morning. It's half past six in the morning. And if you watch my channel or know me at all as a person, you'll know that this is absolutely crazy for me. The fact that I'm this energetic at this time. They do yoga at 7 a.m. and I'm getting up to go to the yoga. So I'm gonna put on my Gymshark stuff and then get into the buggy and go do yoga. Oh my god, can you see? Can you see? A little mini monkey. Hello, just a little quick side note to subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently like 60% of you guys aren't subscribed and that's really extremely offensive. So yoga had a slight delay because me and the other foreigners were scared of any flying insect that came within a mile radius to us. But also they have some rogue animals in Sri Lanka so it is kind of scary. And then we started doing some ohm chants as a group and I'm really into all of this stuff but me and my vocals, I just, I'm, I'm shy, all right? But I was just scared about being off pitch and every time I opened my mouth it didn't really come out right. <laughs> And then we started doing some yoga sequences and honestly this felt really good to do. We just did it so many times. We must have done that sequence on repeat about 25 times. I'm not complaining, it felt good and I enjoyed the yoga as a whole. It was just interesting. Anyway, that yoga was a great start to my day. I mean, I, I didn't go again, but it, it was fun. I really wanted to stay in a mountain view chalet, but they were all booked up. Wow. Like that view from the balcony. So the doctor gave me this and I have to dissolve it in some hot water and drink it and apparently it cleanses me out from the inside out. Okay, time to take what the doctor gave me before our consultation. I'm gonna take it out onto the balcony. Look at this. I mean, the view's not as crazy as the mountain view rooms, but it is really nice to just be surrounded by nature. Oh my God, I can't do it without spilling. 
the textures are just a lot. On my way to the doctor's appointment and I'm late because I was trying to find my room key for 15 minutes. You want to know where it was? On the wall in the room key holder. So have you heard about the juice fasting? Mainly this weight loss package consists of low carb and high protein diets for the meals. And uh, along with that, uh, we are offering the juice diet day because by juice fasting and having more uh, water uh, intake, you can eliminate the water soluble toxics from your body. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about the purgation treatments or this enema treatments? No. It's a natural process. So the doctor basically taught me through what my plan would be for the week. She also said I wouldn't be eating any form of meat for the entire week and then she proceeds to mention something called purgation day apparently i was going to take a herbal pill on thursday which was going to clean out my insides and if you want to know what purgation is google it actually i'll just tell you i shit myself <laughs> means that you have to pass stools about 10 to 12 times on that day when asked about her eating habits here you can see a little english girl trying to explain to a lovely sri lankan lady that all she consumes is nando but to put it nicely um it will be something like a uh, chicken and chips table and then oh, the mountain views how vibes like beautiful it really does remind me of the menu the film the menu i like saw it in cinemas and i came here and i was like it looks so familiar so yeah i just went for the consultation with the doctor and she basically just ruined my whole life <laughs> she said that coffee nicotine and alcohol are the three things that will age me the quickest and i asked her if my iced caramel latte with oat milk and extra caramel syrup is bad and she looked at me and went yes very bad that literally is my source of joy thank you so much banana blossoms banana blossom soup. I don't know if this is the only thing that I'm going to be eating for lunch or not. I skipped breakfast this morning so I went to yoga and then I had to film content and then straight after that I had to have a consultation with the doctor so I missed it. Completely inhaled. Oh my god they brought another round. Seafood cake. Stop now. It tastes so good. Tomato sorbet. Interesting. Then I went to explore the pool area and I couldn't believe the view. It was so beautiful. Oh my god, this is where I spent most of my time trying to tan. I mean, I ended up burning and peeling, but it was a nice thought. The next spa treatment was a detox facial and this felt amazing. I think she was using lymphatic drainage techniques because I could feel everything moving around my face and I feel like it looked a lot slimmer afterwards. However, when she dried my face, she used the towel and ripped my eyelash extensions out. Oh my god, sorry, I got eyelashes on. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. But not just once, twice. Oh, sorry. I'm about to avoid. It's okay. It's ready. It's got to avoid the lashes. Good morning. I got up at 6 a.m. again today. Naturally. I naturally woke up at 5 a.m. As for now, I've got to take that green mush again. Uh, uh. It does match my bikini, though, to be fair, the color. Uh, uh. Oh my god. What happened to my eye? Damn, that really had an effect. Ugh. There you go, she's back. There's a monkey on the roof. Are they nice or are they evil? Some monkeys are evil. So off I went with a skip in my step, off to breakfast to indulge in some gourmet cuisine until I realized it was juice day. I am so hungry and all I keep seeing on my Instagram and Snapchat is people with pasta and vapianos and chicken cormas with naan bread. Oh my god, that won't even get me started on Nando's. My mouth's watering. I need to drink these juices and hopefully that'll suppress my appetite. I'm so fucking hungry. I skipped breakfast yesterday as well. What an idiot. I didn't know I'd be on a juice cleanse today. That is delicious. Oh my god, I inhaled that. My stomach's gonna shrink so much whilst I'm over here. Also, the purgation process, I'm going to go to the toilet on Thursday like 18 times in the day to pass stools. I swear to God, I'd better lose weight at the end of this. Okay, second juice of the day came. Red apple, cabbage, lemon, and orange. I don't know what I think about that combo, to be honest. Oh, she squirted. It's nice, it's nice. And then it was time for another spa treatment, a lovely Swedish massage, and you'll never guess where I went after that. Back to the pool to continue my tanning.
This is the setup right now. I'm reading this book called Anything Can Be Healed. I've wanted to read it for a while but never got around to it. Perfect time. My 2.30 p.m. smoothies and my wet bikini costume prints. Honestly, I don't mind the rain at all. It's actually quite therapeutic. It's my least favorite of all the ones today, but it is still nice, like 100%. I am hungry though. Oh my god. Delicious. I'm so hungry. I want a fucking burger. I want Nando's. Oh my god, I want Nando's. The thing is, I'm in two minds because I'm absolutely having the time of my life being at this retreat, sunbathing, being in the sun. Is that lightning? Filming content for my Snapchat. Look at my face, it's like sun-kissed. The only thing letting it down is that I am disgustingly hungry. I just feel empty, honestly. I just feel like I'm withering away a little bit. <laughs> but I guess that's the idea. Withering away means losing weight. Watch me wither. Update, my breath stinks. <laughs> it's just my mouth tastes horrible. My breath smells. I can just taste how it smells, you know? So I'm gonna brush my teeth again, even though I brushed them like an hour ago. I think this is what happens when you don't eat. Oh my god, I'm so excited for breakfast tomorrow. Don't even get me started. I need to sleep soon so I can just time travel to breakfast. I swear to god, this better be a starter because I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna get real hangry in a minute. Views though, this place never gets old, even though it's only been like three days. Oh my god, it feels like it's my birthday. They brought another course. This isn't doing it for me and I'm so hungry. Well, this is actually slightly torturous at this point. So then I went on an excursion and on the way there everyone was telling stories about leeches and how they are everywhere and I was a little bit scared but we made it to the lake. I had a lovely little swim, almost fell, but I did end up swimming. Honestly, I was shitting myself because I didn't know what was in the lake and there were a lot of interesting creatures in Sri Lanka. Exhibit A, leeches. It actually was a leech! No way! Didn't get bit by anything, uh, but there was a leech on my shoe that was trying to bite me. Can't get through the new balances though, bitch. Oh my god, guys, I'm bleeding from my sock and I don't know what's causing it. I'm about to take my sock off and I swear to god if there's a leech in there. Look at all this! Oh my god, I'm so scared! Ah! Oh my god, it was a leech! Ah! It was a full-on leech! Oh my god! There's just, oh my, and there's a mosquito right there crawling around. Like, I don't have time for these fucking insects. Oh my god, it's still bleeding. So the next thing for lunch is salad. I love a Caesar salad, but I don't think it's going to have any of the Caesaring salad things in there. The doctor just called and asked if she could give me my purgative, purgative medicine. Oh my god, she's I was so looking forward to going for dinner tonight and she's just told me that I have this like special bowl. Oh, I've just had shit meals the whole day. Like I hated my breakfast, I hated my lunch. Obviously I know I'm not gonna love the food whilst I'm here because I'm on a weight loss plan thing, but it's just annoying on my mental. Like I'm just, I'm so fucking hungry. I get really angry when I'm hungry as well, like at this level. And I also know that I just, the fact that I can't get food because there's no access to it whatsoever. Like I'm literally in the middle of nowhere on a wellness retreat. She said, it won't be your meal of choice, but it'll be necessary to get your bowel movements going for tomorrow. And I've spoken to people that are on the same program as me that have been here before at the wellness retreat and they said that it's a disgusting meal. The fact that the whole day tomorrow, I'm gonna be going to the toilet like 25 times in a day, pooing. <laughs> I'm just hungry, I, just, I want Nando's. <sighs> Here it is, um, it's got ghee in there. And if you wanna know what ghee is, it's the shit that I've been drinking every morning. <laughs> now I have more of it. Morning. <laughs> Shut up, man. It's like 7 a.m. I got given this yesterday. This is my medicine. I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna consume it and hope for the best. Or worst. I guess the more I purge, the better, because the more weight I'll lose. Just as a side note, guys, remember this is done in a controlled environment by professional doctors. Don't think, like, making yourself throw up is you going through a purgation process as well. Like, that's just unhealthy and you will end up in hospital. Don't copy anything I do in this video unless you want to, like, make one of the smoothies or something like that just for fun. Stay safe, kids. Don't mess with your body. Your body is a temple and you only get one and it loves you, so love it back. <laughs> Listen to the sounds I wake up to in the morning. I don't even know what this is, I'm just taking it and hoping for the best. 
the doctor's going to come to my room in about 20 minutes and tell me what my plan is for the day. Apparently it's a strict meal plan. So the doctor came to my room and gave me two flasks. One had warm water inside and the other I thought was called moonbeam water. Oh my bad, it's called mungbean water. I thought it was moonbeam. <laughs> I thought they'd use the power of the moon or something. Uh, oh, I'd rather not looked. Looks like they've pissed into it. Not my go-to shade of drink, but it's not pee, it's not pee, it's not pee, it's not pee. Apparently mung beans are high in nutrients and high in antioxidants as well. And aids digestive health, which I think is part of this purgation process. Protects against heat stroke, aids weight loss, and apparently it's mood lifting. I mean, it's not awful and bearing in mind the health benefits. It's very doable. My stomach's starting to hurt, like cramping a little bit. I think I'm gonna be using that bathroom a lot today. No joke, guys. I don't feel the need to go to the toilet, I'm just sat on it. But my stomach is cramping so bad and it's not period cramps. I was fine when I was sat down and then I stood up and like stretched my stomach out and maybe I should try go to the toilet. I didn't realize this video would be like this. I need to shower though, I'm gonna shower first. Barely even made it out the shower. Nothing's coming out though. Oh my God, this is so bad. Like I can't believe that this is part of the video. I didn't expect this. Ow, my stomach hurts, but nothing's coming out. Oh my god, my stomach keeps gargling. It hurts to push though, because my stomach hurts. Oh. That was my stomach. What is happening? Oh. Okay, it's coming. Goodbye. Hi. Sorry, I just got out of the shower. Yeah, good. Uh, just went to the toilet. Definitely effective. <laughs> I was going to go to the pool, but she was like, so I'm gonna pull up a chair outside and sunbathe outside my thing because I need to sun. I'm, I'm getting a tan no matter what. This is not stopping me from getting a tan. <gasps> I think my breakfast is here. Oh my god, I'm quite hungry now. Eek. I hope this is for me. Thank you so much. It's some curd, some bread, and coconut food. Guys, I've been given toast, but there's nothing to put on the toast. <laughs> it's just. It's just toast. Am I supposed to put the toast in the coconut milk or something? I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. I've put the coconut yogurt stuff on the toast, but I can't just eat it dry. Like what? It's just not what I want. Oh my God. That's my stomach, cause I'm hungry. My stomach's like, what the fuck is this? I'm on like 24 seven watch. They check up on me like five, six times a day. I kind of feel like I'm in a luxurious mental ward. So yeah, I'm gonna have to lock myself away in my room the whole day. <laughs> I don't want to, I want to tan. I'm a bad bitch, you can't kill me. I feel fine now. I've been here for like an hour and a half and I feel completely fine. I've purged twice and now I feel like I'm fine. I feel like I've got it all out my system. I took my coconut water though, almost finished it. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so jealous of myself when I'm back home editing this. I feel like you'll be watching this the day I get home because I've already started editing it. Please add me on Snapchat, by the way, if you enjoy watching my videos, because my Snapchat is the main thing that I post on, like 90 times a day. I'm a daily vlogger on Snapchat, but I love it. So far, so good. I feel fine. I feel great, actually. Like, I feel great. I feel overwhelmed. I feel that great. Right now, I don't really care about food. I think I just had to get out of my hotel room because I was a bit stressed when I was eating my breakfast and it was dry toast and coconut yogurt. Maybe it filled me up. I mean, they do it all for a reason. These guys are professionals, so I guess I shouldn't underestimate that they know what they're doing. It's like half one. I'm just trying to get a tan. I like this video. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Back here again. Nothing's coming out. Like, I've gone twice today. It's three o'clock. I think I've been a little bit. Oh, is that really bad? I did put factor 30 on. Oh my God, my nose as well. Maybe I shouldn't go back out in the sun today. I'm definitely going back out in the sun today. I skipped lunch though. I did it by accident. I think they brought it to the room and then I didn't think to go to the restaurant. I thought lunch closed at three. So I came back to my room and rang them up and they were like, oh, it closes at half two. And I was like, oh, nothing. I'm going to go sunbathe. I'm getting a watermelon juice because I skipped lunch. I'm hungry. This probably has about seven calories in it though. They serve it behind the bar. Look at this new area I unlocked. <sighs> Look, it's like a balcony. So I can imagine that I was staying in one of the mountain view chalets, but really I'm in a public area. Shotgun bitch. This is honestly keeping me going until dinner, but the problem is the restaurant is up there and I can smell all the food being made and it's making me so hungry. And I've got my friends talking to me about Nando's. Like, shut the Nando's. 
stop thinking about it. Stop it. I feel really good today though, guys. I genuinely think it might have been the coconut water with all the electrolytes inside. Delicious. Yeah. Chow chow. Yeah. Chow chow soup. Yes. Okay, thank you. I genuinely think I could keep doing this for like a month if I was here. I think being in this environment makes it really easy to like do what I'm doing on this whole weight loss program. Oh my god, I completely forgot to record the main. <laughs> bitch inhaled that in like less than two minutes it was like a vegetable concoction i was closing my eyes and pretending it was mac and cheese hi um i'm supposed to be going on a hike at 7 a.m but am i able to cancel that <laughs> don't judge me okay it's half six in the morning i do not want to go on a six hour hike at 7 a.m guys the time has come. I'm about to go and get weighed and we'll see how much I've lost. I'm nervous. I don't think I'm ready. I need another week. <laughs> I didn't realize I was being weighed so soon. What was it before? 73.6 and it's now 71.4 kilos. Okay, so I have lost. Yes. Quick little side note. I weighed myself this morning and I weigh 70.7 kilograms. Oh my God, nah, no. I cannot believe how much I lost. I lost 6.4 pounds in a week. Something more important I want to talk about. I feel unreal. The difference in this video from the start to the end in my mood is actually crazy. Before the wellness retreat, the habits that I had were bringing me down and not making me feel good in myself and happy. Therefore, I wasn't motivated to go out and do what I wanted to do. Especially with my sleep schedule, it was really affecting my work because I'd wake up late to so many messages that I had to catch up on and I'd procrastinate and I'd just be delayed and I'd feel like the whole world was resting on my shoulders. I'm just so so clear-minded now me going out drinking a lot and therefore feeling hungover a lot of the day is caused me to feel down and also caused me to fall behind in aspects of my life like work i can't believe that the wellness retreat did that like i don't know like i don't even know why i'm crying now like i actually don't know and i can't believe that like this video has actually turned into that i just can't believe the difference that that like retreat has made <laughs> Crying. It just feels good that it wasn't the external factors that were making me feel like that Like I put it on things as to why I wasn't feeling great Like my mum dying or like something I'd use as an excuse almost as to why I was feeling like that when really it was just the simple habits in my life which were making me feel like that. I don't miss the wellness retreat though because it just served its purpose. Summed up, I lost 6.4 pounds at a five day celebrity weight loss retreat. Also guys, swear on my mum's grave that I am not faking the amount of weight that I lost. Bye!